It's super easy to add realistic water to your Godot scene. First, add a mesh instance 3D to your scene. Then, add a new box mesh to your mesh instance 3D. Add a new standard material 3D to the mesh instance. Open the material settings and go to albedo instead of to a watercolor. Make sure to add some transparency to it. Next, go into the roughness of the texture and lower it to a very low value. This will make it shiny. Then make sure to go into transparency, enable transparency, and set depth draw to always. After that, you can go into normal map, enable it, and then add a new noise texture 2D. Adjust the settings of the noise texture, make it seamless, and click as a normal map. Make sure to add a fast noise light to your noise texture. Once you added a noise texture to the normal map, copy the texture and then scroll down to refraction. Enable it and paste the texture into the refraction texture too. Now we have something that looks like a realistic water texture that you can use in your scenes. To keep the texture consistent as you scale it, you can go into UV1, turn on Triplanar, World Triplanar, and then scale it down to an appropriate value. Then you can scale the mesh instance to whatever you want in your scenes and the textures won't get distorted. As an optional final touch, you can right click the standard material and convert it to a shader material. Then in the vertex shader, you can find the line where the UV1 triplanar pose is set and then add time to it. This will make the texture move around. You can multiply it by a small value to make it go slower. And that's how to add realistic water to your scenes in Godot.